and you have been socially conditioned around whiteness, it is difficult, if not impossible, for you to see anybody who is not white as human. Whiteness has conditioned you in a way that says that you are preferred, that you are of priority, you have the privilege and the power. All of that based on whiteness, that is the white lie that you have been conditioned with. And if you've been conditioned with that and you don't actively work to like a surgeon with precision, cutting that out, it's a disease. It's a disease that festers. Now for a lot of you, you recognize that as things that the people around you still believe, but you're pulling away from. But it doesn't mean that you have dropped all of it, especially if you haven't tapped into your core. I made a statement on social media and I want to clarify it and then really dig into it a little bit more. I said for the white people who are just waking up as a result of this Roe v. Wade thing uh, and seeing a lot of the things that are going on and others who are now ready to run to a different country because they're afraid of the squeeze. <laughs> as a black woman who grew up in the United States and I am uh, in my fifth decade of life, it's very interesting to me that a little bit of squeeze makes you wanna run uh, and you did not see until now how systematic things have affected non-white people for their whole lives. My whole life, my parents' whole lives, but now all of a sudden you see it. Now, this is not in judgment of you. Nope, it's an observation of you because I am about to explain whiteness and a little bit of blackness in a way to help you understand how you have been socially conditioned. I like the way whiteness is being used nowadays. I don't particularly use the word colonized um, or the colonizers because I know very well that many of you white people are like, what, a, a colonizer? I wasn't even here. How does that even re relate to me? What are you talking about? But I do think you ought to be able to see, which I don't think many of you were able to see, and maybe still not, how it is that black people could refer to white people as the colonizers because of the history. And the history established some systematic things that have only been upheld through whiteness, okay? So you may not have been the colonizers, but your people, if not still you, are still upholding the things that were established by the colonizers. And you, in your whiteness, benefits from the systems that have been established, the systems that don't work for or to the benefit of black people. And there had to be rules that started to be established to even have black people in white spaces. And even after being in those white spaces, it didn't mean equality. Were there a few black people that were able to really rise? Sure. Was it equal? Absolutely not. There are so many systematic things that work against black people that have been upheld by white people. And whether you were a part of it or not, or understood it fully or not, you, look, you, you were looking around and saw the imbalances. And you may be saying, but I didn't know what to do about it. And I believe you. So this is not to judge who you are, what you've done, what you failed to do, or how any of that has contributed to the inequality, uh, inequalities that have been set up that continue to have black people still here 
on the scale. All right. If we're going to get to equality, then there are indeed some things about your whiteness you're going to have to come to understand as well as to under, because when you do that, you'll start to understand why black people are so angry, rightly so. Although black people, it doesn't help you to be angry. It helps you to understand several things that I have come to use in my life in order to not be angry at every white person I see and to really judge every person based on who they are and how they are with me, uh, as well as how I see them treating other people. One of the things for me and one of the reasons that I have been able to judge individually is because I understand temperaments. I understand the spectrum of individuality. I understand that at our core, regardless of external, regardless of our complexions, we are pure at our core. And when we learn to operate from our core, not the conditioning, then we tap into pure love. We tap into that magical God spark that's in each of us that rises above the crap and really connects with people based on their humanness. When you have been socially conditioned around whiteness, it is difficult, if not impossible, for you to see anybody who is not white as human. Whiteness has conditioned you in a way that says that you are preferred, that you are of priority, you have the privilege and the power. All of that based on whiteness, that is the white lie that you have been conditioned with. And if you've been conditioned with that and you don't actively work to like a surgeon with precision, cutting that out, it's a disease. It's a disease that festers. And the only people you could actually be around and to, to really be close to and to accept were those who believe what you believed. Now, for a lot of you, you recognize that as things that the people around you still believe, but you're pulling away from. But it doesn't mean that you have dropped all of it, especially if you haven't tapped into your core. Tapping into your core means that you can then look at every single person, even those who still operate in whiteness, and recognize that they are just operating from their conditioning. It doesn't mean you have to be around it, because I believe that there are times to walk away from things and people when they and who they are does not serve you, in fact, start to sabotage you. So there are times for all of that. When you get to your core, you will know clearly when that is, why that is, how that is, because you are uniquely designed. And what you need to do is specific to you, not all white people, okay? So we got to stop all of us living these generalized lives. We didn't come here to live generalized lives. We also didn't come here to live according to what everybody that is this is living, okay? Because those are bandwagons. Jumping on bandwagons and merging with people who are like you or look like you will not get us to the space of unity, all right? And while everybody else is fighting against, you will be fighting for. And you don't have to fight for when you tap into. Tap into your humanness, and then you'll recognize everybody else's humanness and you will connect with others who have done the same work based on their humanness. And I am telling you, there is no divisive tactic that can come against that effectively. They can try, but they will lose every time. Until next time, it's your life. Choose it just as it is. Own it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Change it. As long as you can breathe and learn, it can get better.